Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about a build that is not necessarily amazing, but it is really fun to use and it is very, very, very chill to use. If you guys like playing Ivara in survival missions and shit like this, this will be something that you will be probably intrigued by. So, the build in question involves Loki. Loki is a frame that you usually don't pick him to deal damage with, he is a support frame and you would most likely run something like this where you would slap silence onto his one, make every enemy useless and everything like this. Uh, there has been some leaks about Loki that he's probably gonna get an augment onto his one that is gonna make his one explode and deal max health damage. If that happens, I'm all up for it. Just saying. The only thing that is kind of sad about that if it happens is that his one is also the subsumable ability. So if you can just do this with anyone, then I believe we're gonna see another null star incident where you can slap Loki's first into your first ability and just one shot Sanctuary Onslaught over and over again. Until that happens and we actually see it in action, um, you know, right now you would probably run something like this. Rolling guard, a bunch of range, decent duration, slap silence so every Eximus enemy doesn't do anything, spam 4 into, and nothing can touch you. Every enemy is useless. Um, but here is what I did today. So, you see the build and you see a bunch of weird mods and you don't even know what is happening i believe and we'll get to it so we're taking advantage as much as possible from loki's passive so you were able to hang from walls 10 times longer than normal hanging from wall is knowing also as wall watching and there are mods that buff you if you wall latch onto walls. Mods and arcanes, actually. So, we go rolling guard, obviously, because we need some kind of survivability. And rolling guard is really, really good. Against Eximus enemies, especially. And then, arcane arachne is a multiplicative uh, damage buff for most of the things. Uh, Molt efficiency is just here for an extra duration. Obviously, we want duration because our second ability is going to be the one that we're going to take advantage of here and snare is only here so you can uh, ensnare acolytes because you know you don't want to be silenced by by violence that would be terrible <clears throat> and here we go so proton mod set uh gives you damage reduction while wall latching which isn't a lot but we'll get to that uh, you become faster with bullet jumping speed vigilante mode just enhances crits on your primary weapon so that's okay this is a uh, wall latch duration by 60% and bunch of duration natural talent for casting speed and wall latching by another 24% so this is already a lot of time on wall latching we're gonna see exactly how much when I demonstrate this and here is the Latron. So you can use any kind of gun that you want. I just prefer the Latron because, let's be honest, a base crit of 68% feels really nice. And I have a ribbon for it. Okay. So this works for me. But you may want to go with a Burstum. You may want to go with a Torrid. That's fine. Choose whatever gun you like. Because Proton Jets gives you 120% status chance and crit chance if you're in a wall latch so you're invisible wall latching and whatever primary weapon we're gonna use is gonna have a huge buff to our crit and status chance so any kind of hybrid weapon that you would want to pick any kind of beam weapon that like the torrid any kind of thing like that it would do amazing in here but one thing that is certain is that you cannot take any fire fire rate mode Except you drop Molt Efficiency for Arcane Acceleration. So, except you do that, uh, I wouldn't recommend any gun that requires you to get Fire Rate. Like, let's say, a Fenmore or, you know, something like this anyway. Some some kind of Fire Rate primary weapon. Uh, so, Proton Mode Set doesn't have any secondary weapon modes. So, I don't actually run any secondary weapons. If I did, you could run something like the Epitaph, the Compressor, where is it? The Compressor, you know, 
just priming enemies if you want to go that way, but you probably don't need it. And then for melee weapons, I use the Zoris. Now, why did I use the Zoris and why did I choose the Zoris for this? So Zoris on its own is electricity and it has a guaranteed electric proc on its detonation, which leaves us with the amazing option of going melee influence onto our slot, which, yes, I still haven't maxed. But if you want to go any kind of glaive, you can easily go electricity on this glaive and boom, you have guaranteed electric proc that scales off your total damage anyway. So we add more electricity, and here is what the proton mode does for melee weapons. So hold wall latch to gain plus 100% toxin damage and 50% status chance. So the thing about the status chance here is that it's an actual additive status chance. So this here says 20%, we have 70% status chance. It's a flat plus 50. So we add this, we add this that gives us plus 3 meter to the blast, and the blast itself goes to a 12 meter range. 12 meters is disgusting. It is absolutely nasty. So you could go for something like this, and if you have a Raven mode, you could easily replace Organ Shatter here that I have with your Raven mode and make this even stronger. And if you have electricity on your Raven mode, that's even better. So, because, you know, the explosion itself will scale off of that. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, how long the wall axe itself will last onto a wall. And then I'm gonna show you how it looks like on normal gameplay. I do believe that this is a way to make Loki actually decent in doing damage. It's not the best thing in the world, because you cannot mod for strength a lot. If I could mod for strength while doing this, then... It would be amazing, but honest to god, why did I do that? Okay, technical difficulties, I wanted to show you how long the wall latch would last first, so let's go. Don't worry, I'm gonna speed it up in the editing. So, this was around 2 minutes, uh, checking out the recording. I'm gonna add the timer as well so you can see how much it actually was. But yes, uh, considering that Arcane Arachne triggers instantly and lasts 30 seconds, and it cannot re-trigger on itself because of an old bug that used to happen that would let you stack it multiple times, it is on your best interest that you just stay here for 30 seconds, drop, use Zoris, because using Zoris also... Uh, needs you to be off the wall if you try to use it on the wall you know does that so you do nothing so that's about it and one last thing that is very important to look at is that if you're wall latched you can cast your two and you can also cast an snare as well if somebody arrives without leaving the wall which is really really nice so now that we know all this let's show some gameplay you know they're trying gameplay. to choke you out Hold on. The amazing gameplay of uh, being semi AFK and clicking heads with latch on. Crazy gameplay here. Just so I can show you, he's out of range, but. There. And we're still wall latched just one. And if we wanna drop. Now we can use Zoris with our melee influence, which makes it very crazy, especially when it's smacked and you actually are not uh, bored to farm Nitro cells and everything like I do. So, you know. Really good setup. Really good setup. Uh, I would suggest uh, Prime Sure Footed in, in case that happens, you know. But I haven't formatted him, this is just a weird interesting build that I thought about doing and it honestly works also one thing you saw how ensnare says I'm out of range here one cool thing that you can do is that you can add a bit more range to the build if you have Archon Sars to spend instead of natural talent and that way you can make that really really good as well 
with something like overextended since strength doesn't matter at all in this build. You can just add overextended and get a cool snare buff as well. But yeah, this is uh, basically permanent invisibility, cool damage, uh, whatever this is. And yeah, this is with Kavat nerf. I hate no ref, whatever, I use the Zorus. Honestly, I think the Zorus, especially with the Riven in this setup, would completely destroy it. Like, it would slay, you know? I think our weapons in general, especially after last patch, uh, with the uh, Whispers in the wall, uh, the Zorus became absolutely top tier. Like, look at this, that is absolutely insane. So... Yeah, pretty cool build. I'll play until Acolyte so you can see how it will deal with him. In case you want to see that, which I know you do. And I'll just let the gameplay play out another time so you can see the Acolyte. Huh? And as you see, when I was not wall latch, that guy was taking no damage. I wall latch, I viral proc him in one more and he dies instantly. Like then. It's a crazy difference wall latching with the latch on that not wall latching. That is that is so funny. Like, bro. I'm not sure how this even came through my mind. I was just looking at modes randomly and it just happened, you know? Okay, I will probably format this and add Prime Tree Footed and uh, Overextended and add some Yellow Archon Shards. But... That is very funny. Okay, I got knocked again. 1.9 mil on him. I think it's pretty cool, to be honest. I think you can do a lot by using this. And I'm not sure how the augment even works for Loki's uh, second ability, but I'm not using it and the enemies are just ignoring me, so that's very cool. Okay, the Acolyte is here. I'm just gonna latch on him. It's violent, so let's go close. Do this. And this. And, and that's our Acolyte. Oh, no. We need to Rolling Guard, and then two. And that's uh, what happens if you ever go in danger. Now we're not in danger anymore. You see guys, everything is just very very chill when it comes to this setup. We're just... big chilling. So if you like playing something like Tripwire Evara Survival Missions, I think this setup will fit you just right in. And I'm pretty sure it's something you probably never even thought about using. Because at least for sure I, I never thought about it, but... It is really nice. I'm having like a good time actually doing this, uh, if you ever want to listen to some music, just chill, have fun in the game, play your normal DPS Loki when Loki is a complete support frame with no damaging abilities, and in fact you don't have any damaging abilities, all our damage just comes straight from our passive, that's so funny. Yeah, I don't know, really fun. I suggest you guys give this a go. Oh, Whisper like Pokemon. You're also really fast because it's Lightning Dash. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you add the uh, Amalgam barrel, dif barrel Diffusion on your secondary weapon. And you just zoom. Oh. Your will was greater. Oh, that's cool. I don't have internet. Anyway, it's fine. Uh... Thank you guys for watching, I'll have links to my Discord and Twitch in the description, I'll talk to you later.